Oh. All right, what's up, guys? On the phone, we got Tanoa Reed, of course, Toa from the American Gladiators. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Reed, you're on here with uh, Doc Remedy. Uh, of course, I'm Sorg in uh, Lunchbox. How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, brother. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, of course, we just had the season uh, finale of the American Gladiators. Uh, uh, tell, tell us, what, what was it like being a gladiator, man? Man, it was awesome, bro. Getting, you know, going to work, getting into the costume, getting into character. I had to pinch myself sometimes ago. Am I actually getting paid for this? This is great. I love it. Nice. And now, were you a fan of the Gladiators growing up? Yeah, I was. I was a huge fan. I used to watch it religiously. And, um, yeah, I mean, I can't believe once I heard that we were casting for it again, I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to get on there. Nice. nice. How, how did you get involved by chance? I, I understand there was a there's a audition and everything. Yeah, they've been, you know, they were casting for several months, and there's huge auditions, and I somehow didn't get to hear about it, and um, I was a late entry. I got called about a week before they picked their final, like, 50 or 20, and um, I went in to NBC and auditioned, and uh, and uh, they loved my character, and, uh, you know, a week later, I made the final cut. Nice. That's good. What were what were some of the things you had to go through to audition? I mean, obviously there was a display of character. Was there any uh, physical tests or anything you had to go through? No, I actually missed all that. I, um, I know they had a trial with pull-ups, uh, like a 40-yard dash time. They had um, some obstacle courses and stuff. But um, you know, by the time they they got a hold of me, they already finished all those uh, all those trials. So I had a, basically I came in there and they just wanted to see my character and. Um, you know, I've been doing stunts for a while, so my, my my physicality was already up there. They saw me perform in the industry. Nice. Ah, that's pretty good. Uh, tell, tell us about your character that that you have, uh, Toa. To us, it's one of them. One of them that kind of stuck out on the show between Toa and Wolf were definitely the ones with the most personality. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, Toa. Um, I came up with him on the spot. Um, when I called him for the audition, I didn't know what it was for. You know, and uh, they told me it's for American Gladiators, and they put me in front of a. Uh, in front of a camera, and they're like, okay, come up with your character and uh, your, your history and your name. And I had about 10 seconds to think about it. And um, Torah means warrior in Samoan, as it does all the South Pacific languages, you know, in Fijian, Hawaiian, Tongan. Uh, Torah, Koa, or Toa is the universal word for a uh, warrior. That's, that's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. It, it totally fit the bill. I mean, watching you uh, tear down people left and right off Pyramid and uh, crushing people in Powerball was, yeah, totally fit. Hey, yeah, bro. I mean, I, it's a great opportunity for me to represent my people of the South Pacific Islands, you know, representing them all. So I got to come out there, and that's pretty much what I am. I'm a modern-day warrior. You see my tattoos. I wear it on my sleeve. I'm very proud of my culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that is that uh, what also led you? I uh, I noticed you were the only male gladiator in a skirt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They actually asked me what you know, if I had the preferences of what I want to wear, and uh. In, uh, in Samoa, it's called a lava lava. lava, lava. And uh, it's a traditional rap. You know, you've probably seen, you know, uh, a luau shows with a guy doing a fire dance and he has mm -hmm. the same yeah. thing on. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a e lava lava. And uh, it's, a, it's a Hollywood rendition of it because <laughs> gladiators, uh, you know, they got a hold of it and they had, had to make it in the traditional colors of, as a team. But um, it, uh, it worked for the first season. Hopefully, they, uh, they might change it a little bit on the second season. Excellent. So, so uh, all the gladiators, you yourself included, are going to carry over to the second season then? Yes, sir. We, uh, we just got informed. We got picked up for another season. And there's going to be some new games introduced and uh, a lot more excitement. Excellent. Uh, that's yeah. pretty great. Uh, speaking of uh, carrying over to the second season, what's your opinion of your newest gladiator, uh, champion, uh, male champion of uh, this season, Evan? You think he's um, he, he, That guy, I mean, he just... We're going to put him up on the wall. He's amazing on the wall. You've seen him time that thing. So he'll be our specialist for the wall, I'm sure. Um, he's a great guy. I mean, we got to talk with him afterwards, and just a genuinely nice person. He deserves it. He worked his ass off, and he, uh, he trained really hard for this competition. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to have him uh, as uh, one of the federal gladiators. Sounds good. Uh, you yourself, being, uh, what was your favorite uh, event to compete in to uh, try and crush the dreams of any competitor. <laughs> I like I like the pyramid. I like Powerball. I mean, all of them were pretty fun. I mean, the wow was a little tough because you know I'm 245 pounds and these guys are half a weight and they're flying up the wall. So with 
the head start now, we got to be literally twice as fast as them to catch them. So yeah. I caught one guy, but the other guys are just too quick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think where there's just there is motivation because they'll take the time climbing the wall, if not. <laughs> yeah. Are there, are there any games from the uh, original series that you kind of wish would have made the cut? <laughs> um, you know, there's, there's so many different games. They changed it up in the original series, you know? Yeah. Um, I like the, the, the sphere, the ball. Atlasphere. You know, the big balls were pretty cool. Um, problem with those, I heard, I spoke to some of the original gladiators that the welding would come off in the cages because it hit so hard and you end up cutting your hands and your, your body oh, off oh, on the inside oh, of the cage, you know? So, but that, that, that was, that was like, a, I mean, a huge, I mean, a huge game of, uh, it was like two big hamsters, you know, playing around. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was probably the one event that a lot of us were disappointed wasn't in this the newer the newest reincarnation. Right, right. Yeah, they might bring it back. I heard we got six more games. I'm not sure what they are, but I heard uh, oh, we got wow. six more coming up. So that's um, cool. Cross my fingers for that. Or maybe the hand bites. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Um. Of of any uh, say you were a competitor. Which of your fellow gladiators would you not want to go up against? Um, it depends in what in what game, you know what I mean? Uh, uh I mean Wolf is bad is, is definitely badass on the rings. You seen him. Mm-hmm. He's uh really good at that. I wouldn't want to go up against him in the rings. Um let's say you and Titan and on, you and Titan on Joust. Me and Titan on Joust, you know, I I, I didn't get a chance to do Joust this this year. Uh, um we couldn't not every gladiator did every every uh game as you can see, they took our strengths, so like they didn't put him up on the wall. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, they, you know, couldn't put us in everyone. I want to do jobs next year. Okay. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I, I box I, I, and stuff, so I got pretty good timing. I'm quick, so I mean, I think it'll take Titan. <laughs> uh, there's an open challenge there. We see Gladiator versus Gladiator soon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah. uh, let's get into into your background a little bit. Um, you're a a two-time World Stunt Award winner. Uh, you've done. Um, You've done uh, stunts in movies like The Scorpion King, uh, Smoke and Aces, Walking Tall. Yeah, I've been doing stunts for about 14 years in the industry. And uh, about six years ago, I hooked up with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I've been doubling him since. Cool. Now, um, uh, like I said, you had won uh, the World Stunt Award uh, twice. What uh, 